My mother died very early. Nobody taught me how to carve. I started carving at the age of five, according to my senior sister. At that time, I didn't know what I was doing was called carving, until I grew up to realize that, oh, what I was doing in my youth days was called carving. So I realized that since I have not been taught, it was a gift. I, I realized that I was giving free. So why not also try to give free? So the more I teach, even the people I teach, I learn a lot from them. You see, most of them have talent that at that, when I was at that age, I didn't know, I didn't have it. And I always tell my apprentices that, look, there's nothing more interesting in this world than to liberate somebody, than to liberate something. That piece of wood, which will be lying outside one day to rot, or be eaten by termites, or be put into the fire to burn as firewood. You see, there is a form hidden in it. So you pick that wood, you give it more life. That life will stand in somebody's mansion longer than myself. You see, um, like I said, there's nothing more interesting than helping somebody to attain life. <laughs> I married in 1974. I have five children, three, three, uh, four girls, and then one boy. I see my family as a gift. My family has supported me because the, 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 the first appreciation comes from them. And when you're doing something and people are around you, the immediate people around you are happy with it. It gives you that encouragement. Uh, and so I see it as a duty to do all the best that I can to make them happy and take care of them. I see carving is one of the oldest arts in the world. The carving is a process where the inner self, the two, and the material should correspond. Yes. There are some of the woods that you can, you can get your form as soon as you see the wood. Because the wood will tell you that I have this form hidden in me. You see, and there are some you have to uh, tell the wood, this is what I want to use you for. Yes. Uh, in most of my sculptures, wood carving figures, I have a working team which is recording events of my time. So most of my works depicts the daily life of the Ghanaian. I chose to carve because it is part of my life and my, it gives me the joy uh, even before I realize that I can make a living with it. Uh, and so I carve basically for joy and also as business. With the help of Novika, now the whole world can see my works on the net. And so Novika has given me, has opened a new door for me to expose my works to the world. I know that definitely once I have put in myself in the production, it will attract nature. So anybody who sees it will enjoy it and purchase it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>